Hi, welcome to Just Thinking Out Loud. My name is Desiree. 2020 is on fire, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about something that's been on my mind for about a month now that's a little bit dark. I definitely can't monetize it because it definitely talks about a super sensitive social issue. And I specifically want to talk about porn and the case with Pornhub. I don't know if you've heard about it. I follow two people who talk about how Pornhub, the largest porn site in the world, is complicit in the trafficking of, well, they focus on girls and women, but just underage porn being uploaded onto their site. Not just complicit in it, but profit off of it. And they think that they can do better. So I'm just going to talk about what it is and then what the tech companies are facilitating also speak about the fact that i don't see it as black and white both in terms of porn not necessarily always being a bad thing if people are doing it voluntarily even though you could say that it always has a negative effect and then also it not being black and white in terms of just shutting the whole site down because that is what people are campaigning for at the moment and then i also want to mention what can be done just to improve what pornhub does right now and then also a distant but possible solution that i found out about recently oh my god what am I doing? So one person that I follow is Rose Kalemba and she has talked about her experience of being raped at 14 and then having videos of that rape being posted on Pornhub and then her contacting Pornhub for months and them taking forever to take that down. And I also follow someone called Layla Mikilwat who's the founder of Trafficking Hub and also something called Exodus Cry. And it just talks about how a lot of porn sites are used to upload content that is non-consensual. However, it might seem sometimes that it is. And there was a particular incident of Pornhub verifying the account of someone who said that they were over 18, but they weren't actually. And there's, there isn't really any stringent verification process. And that's one of the issues that people have with Pornhub. So people are trying to shut down Pornhub in particular because they have so much traffic. 42 billion visits in 2019, 39 billion searches performed site-wide and an average of 115 million visits per day and 6.83 million new videos uploaded. This is an article from Human Events by Ian Miles. And then it's important to note that there are a lot of sex workers who are against Pornhub. They call it Exploitation Hub. And they have this handy list that talks about the issues that they have with Pornhub. The first one is Rose Kalemba's rape being monetized by Pornhub. That's the first I mentioned. A 14 year old girl being raped by her relative and dozens of videos of the incestuous abuse uploaded by the abuser. 50 plus videos of a 50 year, 15 year old being raped found on Pornhub, allowing uninhibited content piracy. So Pornhub attracts so many people because the videos are uploaded and they're available for free. And because they don't track where it's coming from, you can say that they are willingly profiting off of these tasteful practices because it helps them when people can upload however much they want and they don't have to really verify properly. Another thing is offering users a platform to publish stolen content without effective controls, not requiring identification from users who upload content, therefore facilitating the exploitation of minors, the abusive conditions that producers have to go through if they want to be promoted on the site, I'm not sure what that refers to, the predator monopoly that they hold over the porn industry and the inescapable economic effects of that monopoly. Those last two, I'm not so sure about. But it's important to note that there are people who do this sex work voluntarily and they are, some of them at least, are against Pornhub. So the thing about this is that Pornhub doesn't have control necessarily about what people upload to their site. But I think a case can be made that they have some control that they're not even using, like not having proper verification or not responding when people are asking them for months to take down videos. Porn is something that I think is detrimental overall like I, I don't really think it's a great thing however I don't want to stop people from choosing to do what they want with their lives and this is the issue that I've had for quite a while with say like stripping or any kind of sex work really is that you want to be able to give people you want to be able to allow people to go for the experiences that they want in life even if sometimes you think that's not good for them it's their choice and if that's done voluntarily that's up to them and people will seek each other out and find each other however you're not always sure what is actually going on behind the reason why someone is at a certain place and 
the internet is so distancing like it distances people from the humanity in each other just that's just what happens and so many people have possibly watched rapes actual rapes occurring and not realized what they were seeing and it's just not okay a lot of bad things happen in the world and i am going to be nuanced about it and i've been trying to talk occasionally to respond to some of these posts and say maybe you can't shut down the whole platform even though you have these issues however i think it's great that they're trying to do it anyway because it probably won't end up happening that way but it will definitely affect some change over time so an obvious solution would be for pornhub to just start verifying the content that's been uploaded the age of the people involved and whatever it takes to get there to do that. If they have to limit the site to only people who are out and known until there is possibly a solution to have anonymous uploads, then I think that's worth it. I also wanted to talk about something that I spoke about on my crypto channel recently called a zero knowledge artificial neural network. It's just an idea posted by Ross Albrecht, who you might know as the person who got arrested for the Silk Road a long time ago. But it's just an idea of using artificial neural networks networks and combine that with zero knowledge technology and cryptography so that possibly people could upload content and then a neural network be trained to figure out by analyzing bits and pieces like each node of the network only seen a certain part of the content you could apply this to something else but in his example he was using pictures and then over time figuring out what are false positives and what are actually not good content illegal content and he was applying it specifically to child pornography i'm not sure exactly how it would work and this isn't something that has been built it's just an idea i call it a distant out there idea but it combines privacy so someone could upload without necessarily saying exactly who they are and the organization that's verifying that that content is okay won't know who that person is but they'll be able to say yes the content is good or bad through use of that artificial network and no single participating node would know the entire details and figure out who the person is so if that could be figured out or people could focus on building that for the long term for the future even though they might need to do something more stringent in the short term i think that would be great and i wanted to share that this is just something i wanted to talk about maybe you've seen it i think the story is kind of getting a bit bigger it's a really big deal i think there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet a lot of it is really bad and i would say that a lot of humanity and our actions is complicit in doing harm to others however we can try to reduce that little by little over time because it's hard to take it down and you can't take responsibility for everyone's actions but even if you play a little part in it maybe you can help reduce that a bit while bearing in mind that that can also become tyrannical because you also want to allow people to have some freedom over what they choose to do even if you might not agree with it and that kind of thinking for me extends beyond something like porn so that's it thanks for watching there's a lot going on 2020 is crazy stay safe <laughs> please subscribe to the channel if you're new and also donate at justthinkingoutloud.tv donate please help and support the show bye